Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, in today's video, I'm going to do an unbiased review of this KitchenAid dishwasher. I'll tell you why I love it. I'll tell you two reasons why I almost didn't buy it and I don't really love it. And I will tell you why I would buy this one and recommend it again. So let's start with a good. It, it's an excellent dishwasher. This one starts at about $750, somewhere in that price range. And it just does a beautiful job of cleaning the dishes here. So let's take a look at some of the features. So here's the bottom down in here below. It's full stainless steel. You can take a look here at the um, this little propeller jet sprayer. And it just does a really nice job of cleaning it. You can see it's kind of up to date, if you will, as far as dishwashers go. I also put a load in here and it's got some mixed match cutting boards, plates, all kinds of stuff, bowls down here. It'll clean whatever you've got. This whole piece you can just pull out right here, which makes it nice. You can bring it over to where your silverware is to unload it. We'll slide that back in. And by the way, the wheels on this thing slide so nice and smooth. Literally like one finger, barely pushing. Really, really nice. And the top one is the same way. Just comes out so nice and easy. So you can push this guy right here down if you wanted to do wine glasses or something like that. Here's one of the features I absolutely love. See this little basket back here? We have some little kiddos. So these little parts and pieces like here that go to their sippy cups go right in here and they clean perfectly. Really, really nice job here. So here's something that's nice too. You can see there's three jets. And if you look inside this cup, there's one of the jets right there. So these jets are designed so they can kind of do an extra great job, especially again on those little kids cups. Works perfect. Here's one more feature that's kind of nice is there is sort of a top, top rack. This is made for just thin little pieces, but you can see how much you can fit here. So the kids were making some cookies yesterday, all little cookie cutters, and so those pieces fit up here perfect. Slides right in. Now I have to say when this is in, and you can remove this pretty easily and just take it out. When it's in, it can be a little bit more challenging to fit tall glasses. This whole piece right here, all you have to do is push on this, and this, and it will go up or down about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Now, if you go all the way down, that will take up some of the room down here, and then the cutting boards don't quite fit as well. They'll end up hitting this guy right here. So you kind of have to think it through and adjust it a little bit. So if you have some tall things that are gonna be on the very bottom, you might end up pushing this up a little bit, and therefore you might not use this top one. So for us, it works pretty good, and we know that if we have like really tall cups, especially if they're metal cups that are designed that they could go on the bottom rack, that's what we do. Let's talk about the soap down here. Okay, so here's where the dispenser is right here. These are the Cascade Platinum Pods, and I'll put a link down in the description. You can just buy these guys online, have them show up to your house and not think about it. These slip right in here real easily. This is a clean one, but I'll just show you how it closes for demonstration purposes. Also in here is where you can put the cleaning and drying agent. So this is actually the bottle that came with it, and I just buy this stuff. Again, I'll put a link down in the description below. This helps, though, don't skip this step. This is what helps to make sure that the glasses are dry, spotless, really, really nice and clean. So you just pour it right into here, and then this little tub area, it takes, um, the, the larger bottles we use, it takes about a third of a larger bottle, and you can put it in here, and then you don't have to think about it for a while. And then there's a knob right here so you can adjust it and make it so it's releasing more or less every time it washes. And then you just close that guy up. So here's some more of the features it comes with. The Pro Wash is a really nice way to go. You just don't have to think about it. If you have really tough like pots and pans, you can go on the tough cycle right here. Normal is the one that we probably use the most if we're not using the Pro Wash over here. You can do an express wash and of course a rinse only. You can do a delay. Now as far as the delay goes, you won't need to delay this for sound, almost for sure. Our living room is right next to our kitchen and you can absolutely barely hear this thing. And let me show you why. I actually loosened this up down here to show you just a little bit, but it is extremely well insulated. Everything from this little cover, I mean, look at all these layers of insulation. And I've never seen this on a dishwasher before, but even down in here, there's insulation running, you can see it right there, that runs all the way around this bottom part as well as around the actual tub part. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, I do put a water alarm down here. I also put them under my sink just in case. That water alarm works on batteries and then it will beep and go crazy if there's a water leak in there. Really nice thing to do to save your cabinets if you ever do have a leak. I'll put a link to this water detector down in the description as well. 
So this does have an extended pro dry and actually has a little fan built in. I believe the fan is in the actual door and there's a vent for it right there. I'm not 100% sure on how it works, but there's a little bit of a fan that can help it to dry. It tells you right there, fan enabled pro dry system. So again, you can do that delay. There's a sanitizing rinse that you can do, high temperature wash and uh, the bottle wash as well. So if you want that bottle wash to work and the water to come out of these guys right here, then you'll need to add on when you go to start the machine, you just push that button. All right, friends, so I've showed you a lot of things I like about it, and let me tell you this, the dishes are clean every single time, and you don't have to do much of a pre-wash on them as far as getting them clean, put it right in there. Here's the two things I don't like. This has a motherboard, which it is, I see some reviews that say the motherboard can die after three, five, eight years, something like that. So what I did is I bought the extra warranty for about $150. That is a five year warranty that if anything goes wrong with this, they come out, they fix it. There's no deductible, totally free. Well, free, except you pay that 150. Also, if you don't use the warranty, then after five years, you get 33% of that back. So you get a check for like 45 bucks, something along those lines. So that's the first thing I don't like about it is that the reviews are really, really excellent, except reviews that say that that motherboard goes out after three or four years, five or six years, something along those lines. So just in case we'll have that extended protection. Here's the other thing, the handle, while it's kind of an industry look and it's got this little bit of a grid to it, a little bit of a texture to it, it's kind of cool and modern looking. At the same time, I feel like it kind of sticks out a little bit more than I'd like. And then also, I don't know why they put this like little red accent piece down here, but I don't know. It just, for some reason, drives me a little crazy. It doesn't really match the colors in our kitchen. Is it a big deal? No, not really. Could I probably change it out somehow? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, but at the same time, I feel like if they were gonna make it an accent piece, maybe make it like black instead of red, but anyway. So the long short of it is this. Boy, we've gone through a lot of dishwashers in our lifetime. As far as getting your dishes clean, this is it. This is the one to get, it really, really works well. So you've seen the two flaws that I think it has. And again, I think if you pay the extra $150, get the extended warranty, that's a great way to go. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.